Hey, how's it going? It's been quite a while since my last video. Uh, <laughs> I had some uh, major life events uh, transpire, the birth of another child, um, some career changes, and uh, and various other things that kept me away from the, uh, the production desk here. But uh, you know what? I'm really happy uh, that I found some time to get around to making another video. Um, during the lockdown when there's not a whole much uh, whole lot else to do um, but anyway yeah enough about that let's uh, let's just get started with something so for this one uh, we're gonna be using node red um, I want to solve a problem in my own household and that is that televisions um, get left on uh, all the time so my whole house uses uh, Chromecast for the uh, television viewing and uh, we cast things from our phone or tablets or laptops or whatever but uh, the, the the major the major media player is a Chromecast so what I want to do is I want to make an automation in node red that recognizes when the Chromecast goes idle and then uh, starts a sequence kind of like a sleep timer functionality so if the Chromecast is idle for 30 minutes or more the television then gets shut off so the televisions in my case are all hooked up to Sonoff S31s I think this automation can probably be done with a uh, the whole uh, HD CP through the Chromecast as well, if, if your TV support that. But for me, for me, I'm just going to be doing a regular switching of S31s to turn off the TV. But anyway, uh, let's get started. Um, it's been a long time, so if I'm a little rusty here, um, let me know. I'm going to go through this kind of off the cuff. I don't really know exactly how I'm going to create this automation. I've got kind of an idea, but uh, let's see what we can do here. So start with the uh, event state event and we want to watch and see when the state of the Chromecast changes so let's say media player and let's go to the bedroom TV we'll start with that one and uh, that should be good call this bedroom TV state done okay now let's see what kind of states we can push through the bedroom TV here so I'm gonna grab a debug connect those together we'll set this to debug and current flow and deploy so let me get some states going here uh, from my phone I'm gonna connect to the bedroom TV connect to the bedroom TV Chromecast okay so that's connected and it's playing now and we can see here uh, oh it's actually paused and we can see here that uh, when I make it play it goes into state playing when I pause it, it goes into state paused and when I disconnect from it um, it will go into state off. Okay, so state off seems to be the uh, state we're looking for. I, I know there's an idle state here, um, and I believe, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but I believe that's when you go idle inside of uh, an application, like, for instance, the Spotify app or the Plex app. When it goes idle, I think that's when the Chromecast realizes it's, it's in idle state. However, uh, what I'm looking for is when the app exits on the Chromecast and you're left with that clock uh, and and background display screen so that's what i want to use as the trigger so i'm going to use the off position as the trigger so let's throw a switch in here that detects a couple states first state we want to filter for is off and we also want to add one for playing because we want to be able to reset this timer so that if we start playing content again on the chromecast that it doesn't just you know turn off in 30 minutes so we'll use that and we will use my old favorite trigger node. Okay, and we're gonna connect both of those guys to the trigger node. And of course, we'll connect the Chromecast to the switch. Move them all so they're kind of nice and equally spaced. And uh, right here, we will change the minutes to 30. I wanna have it as a stop timer. Um, we're gonna send a couple different states here. So the first state we're gonna send is when it detects that it's uh, it's in the countdown phase of the stop timer, I'm just going to send the string countdown. And when it is uh, reached the end of its rope, here I'm going to send the state off. So the way the trigger node works is when it receives a message, it's going to immediately send the message onto the next node, and that message will be uh, have a payload that says countdown. When 30 minutes elapses, it'll then send a second message that says off. And if you notice here, there's a section that says reset the trigger if. Um, we want to reset the trigger if the message payload equals playing. Like I said earlier, if we uh, if someone goes on the, the TV or the Chromecast and plays some content, we obviously don't want it to uh, have the sleep timer active 
until uh, that state goes back to um, off. So this trigger will be reset if uh, if the switch node passes on uh, the playing string. So I'm going to just rename this. It's a little more helpful. Offer playing, and I will keep that name trigger 30 minutes. And what's next? So the next thing we need to do is we need to actually throw in uh, the ability for it to control that TV. So that is one of these guys. I think it's called service, yeah. Okay, and the service in here, the domain is going to be a switch. So for me, it's a switch. For you, it might be a media player or however you control your TV on off. But for me, it's a switch. And the service I'm going to call is turn off. And the entity ID, I will have to have a quick look. So yes, the bedroom TV entity ID is this long string because it's a it's a cheap Tuya power bar that I haven't yet flashed. So I'm going to be looking for fe underscore one for my switch. Entity ID switch fe underscore one. Okay. And we'll say done to that. Okay, so we're going to be calling switch turn off, yada, yada, yada. Okay, that all looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and deploy this. And we'll clear the message flow. And I'm going to see if I can reset and set that trigger. So I'm going to connect back to bedroom TV. Connected. Uh, it's playing. It's paused. Okay, we're going to start playing the content again. And then we are going to disconnect from bedroom TV. Okay. Okay, so here we see I made a uh, a mistake, a, a, big, a big mistake actually. So that trigger node passed the message on to the switch turn off right away. As soon as it got as soon as it got triggered with the countdown message, it passed that countdown message on to switch turn off. Um, that's not what we wanted. We wanted it to only reach the switch if it's passing the off uh, string. So we can see here it did execute. It, it turned off the TV. Uh, the Chromecast went to state unavailable. So now we're going to reset and we're going to try that one again. So bedroom TV, it's off. We're going to turn it back on. We'll let the Chromecast fire back up. But in the meantime, what we will do is we will go ahead and we will add a missing node in here. So we're going to add another switch node here. And this way we will only pass on the message if the message payload is off. See, I told you I was a little rusty, but you know what? That's kind of the fun of these things, doing a little bit of troubleshooting, identifying you know, your logic, and uh, figuring out how you want to make things work. So we'll deploy this. It should reset most everything here. Um, okay, so the, uh, the Chromecast, again, has gone to state off once we turn on the TV. So I'm going to go ahead and go back. We will cast Spotify to that again. So it's connected. It's paused. At the moment, I'm going to play. So it's playing, and we will go ahead and uh, disconnect again. Okay, so now it's off. Now we see that we have this trigger set, uh, which means it's now in the middle of a 30 minute countdown. Um, so let's see if we can cancel that trigger by playing some content on the uh, bedroom TV. Okay, so we're connected, uh, and Spotify is playing the content. We can see here the state is playing. And uh, yeah, the trigger has been reset. It disappeared, I guess, as soon as that uh, came up. So it looks like this works. Um, we definitely know that the switch turn off works. Um, and we can see that the, uh, the trigger has been set. So let's disconnect one more time, make sure it sets the trigger. So we've disconnected, it's gone to state off, and the trigger is set again. So, so this looks like it'll work just fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that node. We'll do some quick duplication here so I can set this uh, same rule for each of the Chromecasts in my house. So it's just, yeah, it's just gonna be a matter of customizing the player on each of these, customizing the switch device that's gonna be turning things off. So this was a good, you know, first video back. As always, if there's a better way of doing this, you know, please let me know. I'd love to feature uh, your method in another video so that we can all, you know, get better at home automation. Anyway, um, I hopefully I'll be making another video soon, uh, but until then, see you later.